He's definitely gonna roast me. He's got me through the mangrove. Oh, dude, what are you doing? Oh, he's gonna get me. He's gonna get me. Well, g'day everybody. Welcome to another Full Scale Fishing Adventures episode. Currently, at the time of filming, um, Australia is in a bit of a lockdown. So New South Wales, Victoria, all off limits. And I had grand plans of going here, there and everywhere, but we're on another local mission. We are back at where the trophy brim live. And I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to go out and see if we can't catch a couple. So I'm going to get this boat loaded in the water. It all looks pretty good, you know. We've had um, some really bad weather lately, so that's sort of prevented most types of fishing. But um, I'm hoping that, you know, once now that this weather's settled out, uh, the fish will be biting. The tides are good. I always sort of plan the, to fish these areas um, on the, the Nipah tide, so there's not as much movement. Um, and that's usually the best time to target them because when you go into the mangroves the water can flow quite f quickly and it can be hard to fish so smaller tides are best for this so I think we'll get the boat in the water and we'll go see if we can't find a few. Okay, we got high tide, so there's quite a bit of water in the creek, and also uh, it's a got a little bit of colour. I'm going to see a little bit of colour, so I'm going to start with one of the hot orange Ned heads. And amazingly, uh, these just like for brim work so well. Like, I was amazed in Tassie just how well an orange head worked so I'm going to start with the orange head and I'm going to start with one of the new goats new baby goats and that's a hot snakes color so I've done really really well in the past uh, with the TRD bugs on brim um, and these are very similar but a lot more movement in the tail um, so I'm very keen to see how our big brim like them but it's a really cool looking bait and that that hot snakes colors actually got like it's got a bit of UV through it and I'm a real big believer in UV for a lot of different fish um, so you've got the hot orange head hot orange head which has got UV in it and then you've got that fleck through the body as well it's got uv in it as well looks really good a bit bigger bait you know dirtier water and also that orange head so we'll start with that probably end up using a grub but i think that'll be good to start with i've also got uh it's four pound four pound super braid it's just a size 20 reel and a two to four kilo seven foot stick um 10 pound fluorocarbon leader because these brim are big and they're angry and they will absolutely roast you if you give them half the chance. So just go a bit heavier leader. So what I'm gonna do, I've just got this nice mangrove edge working to a bend. So it should be a little bit of depth here. Um, the odd mangrove under the water. So we've got plenty of structure. I'm just gonna sort of fan my cast along here. Classic retrieve where it's just, get it to the bottom watching that line because most a lot of the bites that you get from brim will be on the sink and I'm just going to hop it back nice and slow and we'll see if we can't get a big one I really love sight fishing these creeks but um, we don't have any sun so I'm just going to work through it blind the other thing 
um, which is very important, is a good pair of sunglasses because not that I can see much because it's cloudy, but I can see so much more with the Polaroids on. So these ones are the green mirror colored tonics, which I find are very good for all round. So good for the river, good for fly fishing, and good for some saltwater stuff too. So these brim, you'll find them a whole range of ways. Um, sometimes they'll be on structure and then, you know, other times they might just be along the bank and then sometimes you'll get them, they'll just be cruising in open water. And it's sort of, it's a, a little bit less predictable than standard sort of brim water because, because they do move around a lot. And I think that's just because these creeks, the water can exit the creek completely on a low tide. So the fish have got to be mobile and they move in and out with the creek, uh, with the water, with the tide. I think even though I am blind fishing and the light is bad, it's definitely worth just going slowly from spot to spot because I can see, I don't know, seven or eight metres to the bank. It's enough not to spook one. Um, the last thing you want to do is just go burning between likely spots and then run over the top of a big school of them. It's a big one right in the snag there. Oof, the cast is good. Spooked it. I oh, know. Did he? Sort of, he half looked. I've been a bit close to him. He's still there, he's coming back. No, didn't like it. Oh, he's thinking about it. No, didn't like it at all. All right. Something a bit more natural, I think. So when in doubt, get the big guns out. Blood worm on a 1 16th. Will not be able to resist that. Got him. That was awesome. Oh, he's gonna smoke me. He's gonna smoke me. Uh. I watched him come out of that. It's a beautiful mangrove bit there. Oh my god. He is definitely going to race me. He's got me through the mangrove. Oh, dude, what are you doing? Oh, he's going to get me. He's going to get me. Uh, out you come. Out you come. Oh, that's why. That's why I like the brimfish. Oh, he's not done yet. Get out of there. Whoa, that was awesome. Such a hectic fight. Oh, big fish too. Big fish. Oh, what an awesome fish. That was an intense battle. That was amazing. Amazing. And just made that lure change. He's a big one. That's a big fish. That's a really big fish. Whoa, that's a tank. That's one of the biggest brim I've caught. What? That is huge. Man, that is a tank. Behemoth. Just a behemoth. Behemoth, a behemoth of a brim. Oh, over two kilos. Just a giant. Made the change from the the um, orange head to the, just the natural blood worm. Beautiful fish. We'll give him a quick measure, not that I ever measure anything, but we'll give him a quick measure and we'll put him back. Settle down, buddy. Oh, well he is, his head on nose there, that's there. He is, he's 49 and a half. 49 and a half centimeters. Oh, these are so old, these big fish, so. It'll take a lot of care of them, get them back. Wow, that was a big one. 
Well, there you go. That was pretty cool. Um, just been working along and ha like I said, I had, had that orange head on. I was sort of searching around and there's just a little bit of visibility um, and a few mangroves. And I saw that one before um, cast at him. He didn't like that orange head at all. So I changed over bloodworm, a lot more natural, a bit lighter. And the first one I saw, it like, it wanted it, wanted it, and then it ate it. 49 and a half centimeters. That's a big brim. Stoked. Stoked. Oh. That's a really big one. That's a really big one. Oh, it's gonna get me in the snag as well. Oh, get out of there. Oh. <laughs> oh, anyone that says the brim fishing isn't fun has not gone to battle in the mangroves. Oh, that was just another one. That's such a classic example of having that light natural jig head because I saw him come out and he looked at it and because it was just sinking so naturally he was very happy just to push forward and eat it that is another chunky chunky brim beautiful nice fish wow wow that's a hefty brim what man What? Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> Have a look at this beast. That's just another dinosaur of a brim. It is so fat. So fat. I haven't actually done much winter fishing for these guys. And uh, I don't know why, because that is just an absolute dinosaur. Quick measure. So that's nose on there. Uh, he's 40, I don't know, 46 and a half or something. Off he goes. Beautiful. It's amazing to see them from so far away. I just saw them in the mangroves there. 100% they were just in there big back of one they stand out because they're dark they do stand out it's so hard to feel the bite no they spooked did they <gasps> what's going on That should see that one. Come on. He's like spooking at it. It's weird. It's weird. Eat it. It's just down there. Oh, there's a heap of them. I can see more in the mangroves. I don't want to spook him. God. Well, that was an awesome afternoon up in the mangroves. I usually am here during daylight savings time, so I'm quite surprised how quickly the afternoon has gone. Anyway, a couple of great fish. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like it, leave us a comment and subscribe to the channel. It's hugely appreciated. I will catch you all next time.